Honor is uh, given to an author and a broadcast professional who has demonstrated excellence in both broadcast television in the broadcast television industry. This year's recipient of the Television Broadcast Award presented by Bloomberg is Fox News anchor Harris Faulkner, also another Californian. I'm just taking all the credit I can before the fire start. Um, <laughs> A self-proclaimed military brat, Harris is a graduate from the University of California, Santa Barbara. Wait a minute, a Californian again, a six-time Emmy Award-winning award anchor who currently anchors two daily daytime uh, programs, the Fal uh, Faulkner Focus, and serves as the co-anchor of Outnumbered. Uh, yeah, you need diversity in that. Um, <laughs> let's view the highlights of this year's Television Broadcast Award honoree, Ms. Harris Faulkner. Harris Faulkner, I'm Harris Faulkner. I'm Harris Faulkner. You are in the Faulkner Focus. Let's begin with this Fox News alert. The Biden administration admitting it released thousands of Haitian migrants into the United States and many more could follow. This is a special hour of the Faulkner Focus. Police in America. We're about to go in depth. And take a look at what law enforcement officers are facing right now in this extremely tense climate on American streets. Former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley joins me now. Senator Tim Scott, Republican from South Carolina, joining me now. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, you say you're going to be there on that Senate floor to cast your vote. We'll cover every second of all of it. It's news for America. Good to see you, Senator. We have heard a lot from those four candidates, from our reporters, our political analysts, and commentators. Now it is time to hear directly from the voters, voters' voices. The tweets, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Why those words? So that's a, an expression I've heard over the years. And it Do you know really where it comes from? To... It was from the chief of police in Miami. He was cracking down. And he meant what he said. That frightened a lot of people. Thank you for watching the Faulkner Focus. My pleasure to be with you on weekdays at 11 a.m. Eastern. This year's recipient of the Television Broadcast Award presented by Bloomberg is Miss Harris Faulkner. Thank you. All right, so. Um, Will you hold that? Yes. Yeah. Because Sarah already proved that, you know, we've been wearing soft pants for so long, we're not working out enough to, uh, to hold an award, apparently. This is so close to I'm getting, so I'm just going to take it. Wow. Um, I'm in sequins, y'all. Yeah. That hasn't happened in so long. I have to say how grateful I am for this award and how thrilled I am to see everybody tonight, all looking shiny and beautiful and out of our houses. Um, Paula, Sarah, and Enrique, my fellow honorees, it is a joy to share this night with you. And for me, it's a special chapter in all of our journeys because it recognizes that we are now proponents and navigators of change. And I know the four of all of us coming together for tonight is proof that we have broken barriers and become part of the high tide that is necessary to lift all boats. It takes all of us from all perspectives. For me personally, the road to get to this point has never been just about my race, my ethnicity, my culture, or any of the immutable or unchangeable demographics. The main ingredients are critically more powerful than that. I was born and raised on military bases across the United States and even Stuttgart, Germany. And I'm the daughter of an amazing officer's wife and kindergarten teacher and social worker whose family was a mix of Haitian and Native American. And I'm the daughter of a military combat pilot who came from the sticks of East Texas. My parents taught me that my skin color and hair texture will always identify me to some people as just that, those people who just want to see me that way. But we must work hard to ensure that our success reflects our individual gifts, diversity of thought, and experience. And I'm, in fact, teaching that to my biracial daughters right now, the power of individualism based on which you cannot see about us first. Tonight, we celebrate the fact that journalism, like so many parts of American life, works best when it represents the widest variety of humanity. And the two things that drive the narrative for me and my family, service and leadership. 
So I have made sure in my career to surround myself when I can around incredible visionaries. Some of them are here tonight. Our president of news, Jay Wallace, is here. Our senior vice president in the daytime news, my shows that I do, Alan Kamisaroff is here. My colleague, Aisha Hosni, my other colleague as well, Natalie, who's part of my team, Natalie Slawuda. And uh, I do a power panel where every political point of view is welcome every day. Sometimes you just sit and you eat corn because it gets steamy and fiery. But Richard Fowler is a Democrat who loves to spar with anybody and can wear any hat. And he's here and he's on our team and the head of our human resources that makes sure that respect rules the way is Kevin Lord. And it's great. And he, he works on all sorts of avenues of diversity, mainly to create that environment where I've made dreams come true. It's an environment that doesn't just tolerate me or others who look like me. It celebrates us. And I implore anybody following a dream to be in that kind of environment. They are the epitome of squad goals. Thank you guys for being here. Support me. To the organizers of the Multicultural Media Correspondents Association, I want to thank you for recognizing my work, but mostly for the way that I do my work, because the work itself is something that we're all doing. But the specificity that each one of us brings from our upbringing, our failures, our victories, our values, that is a potent mix that makes us compelling and memorable voices in media. I get to talk with millions of people each week and disseminate information. But mostly I'm having a relationship with Americans who might look at me and say, and trust me, some of them do at the local Piggly Wiggly or Acme, why do you work at Fox? There are really no others like you. And I said, well, do you, do you change the channel? Because there are no others like me in the daytime anywhere. we are like 500 channels. What are you doing? Flip around, look. It's true. Flip around, look. But it isn't just about that for me. I'm, I love the representation role that I play. But I have to make sure that the way I do my job opens doors for people with diversity of thought who might look like me, with range who might be different, that might be different than mine. So the way I do it is what you recognize, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you for adding me to MMCA's list of those getting it done. I try my best to get it done every day. I try my best to be accurate before we're first. It's great when they come together. But most of all, I try my best to show you what's possible. From a man who came from very little and a woman who came from less than that in Texarkana, Texas, when they came together, they came together with dreams and made magic. And that magic made love. And that love made me, my sister, and now grandkids. And it's not just legacy. It's proof. That's what I hope that we show tonight. Proof. All things are possible, no matter where you come from. God bless you, and thank you for this award. Are, are your arms tired? Are you sure? You're going to be all right? Oh, you look steamy. Oh, can I give you a hug? Yes, hell yeah. Oh.